As, and then we can type in uh, GIMP intro one dot. You can save it as JPEG. It doesn't really matter. You can save it as whatever you would like. And then we can save this one as GIMP intro two dot JPEG. Then we got those both saved. Now we're gonna open up Windows Movie Maker 6.0 which I mentioned before is the best one so far and right here I have my own intro and you can see in case you didn't see it before it just spins and changes color like that so let's import these pictures let's see uh, a little higher up here we go uh, just press shift and click on both of them press import now we got both of them here now we just drag the GIMP in we go to effects we go to 360 spin and we lower it to four seconds. Now we press uh, Control and C to copy, and then paste it, which copies the whole thing, including the effect. Then just move it down to oops, three seconds. Copy paste. Uh, what was that one? Two. So we want this one at two seconds. Just zoom in a little bit. If you zoom in, you can uh, get the precise precise time a little bit easier. Uh, it's good enough. Okay, there we go. Copy, paste. One second. You are just basically cutting these in half each time. And this will speed up the uh, spin. Then once we get down, okay, we get down to half a second. Now, once we get down to about uh, 25th of a second, copy and paste it. Uh, one should be good. So we have two of those. Now, imported media. GIMP intro 2, which is the presents, lower down to the same time, which was 0 0.23, 0 0.33, no. Zoom in a little bit more. Uh, uh, we gotta get this exact. There we go, 20.23. Now go to effects, add the 360 spin back on it, then just copy, paste, paste again. Move this one up to, uh, we have 23, then we have 57. 57, copy, paste. 07. Copy, paste. You can zoom out a little bit now. Uh, two seconds. Paste, three seconds. Oops. and four seconds now now that we have all the spinning done what you want to do is go to imported media we can zoom out a little bit on this just take the presents and just you want that as a picture so you can see that as the end uh... now uh... we can watch this if you want Let's just scroll back you can see it just spins you can see the background color and the black are different you can uh get that exact HTML notation if you want and it just keeps spinning faster and faster and it, but when it gets into the middle when it changes to presents we just want to add a, a little oh we could add a fade in fade out right there let's see right here so just right click press fade out on the GIMP and then fade in for the presents and we can just click on this and watch it play and that's pretty good there. Now we can zoom back out. And back on effects, what I did, you don't have to do this, but I liked it. Uh, Hue's entire color spectrum. Go to storyboard. Drag that on. Copy the effect. Oh, I know. You don't want to do that yet. Uh, save this to your computer. Just save it as a GIMP intro and just save it as whatever you would like it shouldn't take too long because it's not very long and once this is saved we'll add uh, finishing effects to it okay once this is finished there we go now go new project you can save that if you want I'm not going to Portimia videos 
uh, we want to import the GIMP intro. So now we have this as one media file. So now we go to Effects, we go to uh, Hue, Cycles Entire Color Spectrum, which just slowly cycles it through all the different colors, so then you have all those different color effects uh, without even having to do it. Now what I like to do just to uh, kind of blend in with that black, I think I actually used that grayish color right there, but I forgot and didn't get the HTML notation, is just use this film age or maybe another effect that you like, but I'm just going to use this film old age. So now you can't really see the, uh, the gray and the black separating. And now, lastly, what I did, I'm going to import just, uh, let's uh, just do this one, eyeball part one, which is my eyeball tutorial. Just drag that in there, go to timeline, and what I like to do is uh, titles and credits, titles on the selected clip, and then just type in the uh, name of the uh, tutorial or whatever video, name of video. Uh, title animation, we want, uh, let's see, which one is it? So. Uh, let's see, where is it, where is it, where is it, nope, probably should have read which one it was, oh, you could use that one if you like, I didn't need to see that one last time, uh, I'm sorry about this, I cannot find it, don't even know which one I used, uh, Wow, I totally blinked. You knew it before. Hmm, that's really weird. I'll probably just edit this part out of the video anyway. Oh, here we go. Uh, news video inset. I'm sorry if that took so long. I'll probably just edit that part out. So you don't even know what I'm talking about right now. So we just hit add title. We want to move this into the middle, the end of the actual intro and the beginning of the video. So when we press play, the intro is still going on when the video... Oh, well, that's my intro still, but when the video cuts in. So then uh, you can just add some music in here. I have some music that I actually came with. Uh, Windows 7 is uh, ka Kalimba. It just sounds nice with it. Just uh, shorten it to the time of intro. And there you go. You have your own intro. Uh, decent intro made with Windows Movie Maker, a free program, and GIMP, another free program. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this uh, Please comment, rate, subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial. And suggest another tutorial you would like to see me uh, perform. Uh, this is Gimpway's tutorial. I'll see you next time.